guys, how you doing? It's Henry from Mowers and Blowers again. Uh, as you guys saw from yesterday's episode of my Craftsman DYT 4000, I uh, got this uh, lawn tractor for free. It's actually a yard tractor. So I got it for free, and uh, it's been sitting around my garage for about uh, three, four months, you know. I uh, wasn't able to get to it because I had other projects going on. Actually, my projects are all done, so I don't really have anything else to do, and there's not any great deals out there, you know. So I... Uh, I knew that the reason why the guy gave it to me for free was because he said the crankshafts were blown, you know? I wanted to make sure. As uh, you guys saw in yesterday's episode, both crankshafts were gone, and also the uh, left cylinder, the wall, caved in. I mean, there's a big chunk missing on the bottom, so this engine is not salvageable, unfortunately, because it's a, it's a Kohler uh, V-twin, and... Uh, it's a good engine, you know, as long as you take care of it, you know. person that had it before probably had some kind of oil leak, and he dumped those additives in there that made it uh, extra thick. Well, if it's too thick, it'll knock and grind and stuff like that, and uh, the engine speed won't catch up to it, and so that, that's why the parts, uh, it, uh, the connecting rods blow uh, blue. So this engine, unfortunately, is not salvageable. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to part out the whole engine and sell the parts on eBay. Uh, with that money, I'm going to probably take some of that money and uh, buy a new starter and uh, some tins for an opposed twin engine that uh, my buddy Pete Lombardi gave me, which I'm going to try to retrofit that onto here. There's a question about the crankshaft uh, diameter and length, whether or not it'll fit the electronic PTO on this thing. But I'm just not sure. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to my buddy George over at Mr. Air NYC. Uh, he does ductless mini split air conditioning and uh, heating units. If you guys don't know anything about that, is you don't need ducts in your homes anymore. You basically have this uh, mini split ductless air conditioning unit, right, that powers each room. What it does is it has AC and heat, and there's no ducts whatsoever. So if you guys live in the New York tri-state area, you guys want to go check out my buddy George over at Mr. Um, Air, New York City. Uh, you can check him out at, on Instagram at, um, at Mr. Air, New York City, right there. And also check out his website at MrAirNewYorkCity.com. Anyway, so I'm going to get uh, to work on starting up this uh, disassembly. I'm going to disassemble this entire engine, take all the parts out, and I'm going to do a hyperlapse because this takes a while. That was kind of cool. Here's the uh, engine block completely stripped. As you can see, that's the good cylinder. And there's the cylinder that's bad, that has that big chunk missing. It's significant, you know? Significant chunk that's missing.
bores look pretty smooth. It's a shame. But yeah, that's dicked. You know what else is dicked? The journal on this crankshaft. It's so rough that if you put your hand to it and rubbed, you'd bleed. Crankshaft gear, worm gear is good. The rest of it looks nice. It's a shame. So it's just a journal. You couldn't sand that. I mean, I, you could, with, but uh, the specs would be all wrong, you know? Anyway, so here's a layout of all the stuff I got. I'm going to be listing all this stuff on uh, eBay. I know my boy uh, Justin at uh, JNR Landscaping Service and Repairer, he, uh, Justin Demers, he uh, wants some of the parts. Anyway, that's uh, this is top engine cover. This I know is expensive because it has the uh, piggybacked uh, solenoid on it. It's original Kohler. That, that I know works because we tried it. This is a dipstick. Cletus, you dipstick! Cletus, you know what you are. You're a dipstick. A 14 carat dipstick. I'm actually going to sell this uh, sump cover too because uh, sump is actually okay with the exception of the uh, oil pump gear is a little worn but uh, somebody could use that uh, sell it for cheap it's just stator looks to be in good shape it's the uh, governor throttle lever shaft and this carburetor should be worth some good money too. Original OEM. This gasket. Two exhaust pipes with the gaskets intact. This uh, camshaft is also in good shape. Lobes are sharp, smooth, not rubbed down at all. Gears are crisp. So that camshaft's good. Yeah, carburetor, um, air cleaner, base housing with the uh, vent. Push rods, rocker arms. What do they call these things again? I forget. These are really thick. They're in excellent condition. I'll sell that as a set right there. Fuel pump, spark plugs, voltage regulator, the engine wiring harness, throttle plate assembly, dual V twin magnetos. Those are the busted pistons and rings with the busted uh, connecting rods. I saw those as is. Here are the tins, left and right. I'm going to sell those all together too. This is the uh, engine. Here's the flywheel. Air filter. Uh, intake manifold. Flywheel uh, blower vent cover. Flywheel blower. So, you know, got some pretty decent parts. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the complete disassembly of a Kohler 25 horsepower V twin engine with two blown connecting rods. Uh, we saw that there was a lot of problems with this engine block. You had a chunk of that uh, left cylinder missing, right? Um, so that's why we can't use that engine block. The crankshaft that has the journal all scratched up, you can't use that. Had the two blown connecting rods, right? You had a ground up uh, oil pump in the sump. Oil pump in the sump. So you can't use that.
but I'll sell those parts for good money, I'm sure. And uh, this baby here, the DYT4000, is going to have to just wait for an engine. I'll come across one sooner or later. If my buddy Scott Keller would get his ass in gear and give me that engine he was talking about. Damn it. It's a good tractor, man. I'll uh, park this until I get a new engine. But anyway, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. See you guys next time.